Hi, welcome to Nerf SoCon VS. I'm Adam. I'm Julian. And here are our guests. I'm Samuel. I'm Daniel. Today we're going to be comparing the Vulcan EBF25 with the Stampede ECS. So first of all, the biggest difference in this gun, in these guns, this one takes belts. This one takes CS clips. The EBF25 comes with one 25 round belt. And this comes with three 18 bullet clips. And a six round clip. This one comes with a tripod. And this one comes with a bipod. And a handle. And the same thing. This one jams a lot. This one doesn't. Jams every once in a while, right? Yeah. But this one jams maybe jam. every every few clips it'll jam. It'll have a bad it'll have a bad one. The others work with this. This works with more belts. You can only buy one type of belt, no special sizes or anything. This on the other hand, um, you can buy more six round and more eighteen round. And it also works with, with 35 round and the 18, 18 round. round. And what's even better, it works with the double clip. Grab that. But the bipod and, doesn't work. And the four round that we made ourselves. Um, there's also a double clip. I don't know if we have it with us, but that'll extend any of these as well. Yeah. Also comes with the, you can also use the double clip. Let me see the long ones. Now uh, this is like something no one would ever do. May look ridiculous, but it's brilliant. I mean, who would do that? It makes you look different. This gun holds needs six D batteries. You know the biggest ones. And this gun needs uses six D batteries also. Yes, the rails. Comes, this one comes with three rails, and this one comes with five. Yeah, five rails. Okay. Um, the attachments are all the same. It comes. It actually, it comes with six. Six rails. Six rails. Six, yes, six rails. Wow. Attachments are all you know, scopes, sights. This one comes with a bunch of accessories. It comes with this. It comes with a block screen. Nice block screen. On the safeties, the on and off switch here, the EBF 25, it's here, and it's got an off switch right here. This one's got a cover for it. I don't know how to block it. Um, I, I'm assuming so it won't get dust in it, but this one's on the side, so it won't necessarily get dust on it either. This EBF 25 has a custom caulking handle, so if you don't have batteries in it, you can still use the gun. This one does not do that. Um, let's see where you load the batteries. Here. Where you load the batteries on this one? Right here. There's two screws on here, one screw on this one. Let's see. Weight wise. I'd say the I'd say the stampede is the lighter. This one is a heavy gun and it's mostly meant for stationary. This one can be picked up. It's, it's almost it's almost the same size as the long shot. And it can be walked around with. This one, I would not recommend it. Because, first of all, you don't have a handle. You can't attach this handle because there's no bottom rail. Um, yeah, I, I like this one better. This one here. Um, let's see. The range of these guns, this one is 30 feet. That's, 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 um, that's average range, effective range. This one is like 25. You 15. can look on the other video. 50? 15. 50. 15. Or 20 or something. I think it was 20 feet. It's not close as good with range as this one. We will compare them side by side. None of them have been modified. So, uh, you'll get accurate results. Carrying handles. This one comes carrying handle here. Right here. Okay, sights. This one has a back sight here and a flip up sight here. This one has a sight right here. You look through here and align it with this triangle and this. Um, strap ports. There's a strap. You can put a strap here 
and a strap here. You need to put a strap here, here, and here. Okay, triggers. This one has maybe an inch pull. That one's might be half an inch. And by the way, I like that trigger a lot better because it's smaller. It's like a it's like a CS clip. This one's not a CS though, it's an EDF. Dejamming. This one has a dejamming area. It can be opened at any time. The clips can also be taken at any time. This one, you need to make sure to push the clip back in. It's kind of a pain. And you can look at my EBF review. You can you don't really need to dejam it because can easily just take them out of the hole if it's jammed and just set up again. But since this thing jams so much, I keep this open because it's a pain. Okay, rate of fire. Now this will vary with batteries, rechargeable, um, alkaline. It'll it doesn't matter. I mean, and battery strength obviously. And to shoot at the wall. Okay, rate of fire. Pop. Now this might jam on me if I'm having a bad day. Go. It's no cartridge. Sorry. One more. Keep remembering. Wait, shut up. You shot the dog. Um you see, this is much faster, but this one has better batteries than this one right now. But this one, on average, is a higher rate of fire. Um, it's fast. It's about the same speed to reload. This one can be a pain because you have to run it in a certain way in the box. To take the magazine out, you have, you have to go through the whole magazines or uncock it by pulling this back partially and then flipping it up, and it's a big pain. This one. Clip Just pull this right here. Anytime. It won't stay cocked. It's it'll come out anytime. You don't need to cock anything back. It's awesome. Okay, this is having a bad battery. When this battery is low, I just noticed this. The battery's low, it'll jam because it'll go half shot. This is very in inconsistent, by the way, in range. Okay, we're recording at a range of 25 feet. Um, and if it goes past the tape, we'll measure those as well. Yeah, and this one doesn't need to shoot. Oh, range of the is 25 feet. Effective range of the stampede is 30, 30 feet. Well, you're gonna buy one of them, they're about the same price by the stampede.